Chinese traditional religion is polytheistic, many deities are worshipped in a pantheistic view where divinity is inherent in the world. The gods are energies or principles revealing, imitating and propagating the way of heaven Tian Tian, which is the supreme godhead manifesting in the northern culmin of the starry vault of the skies and its order. Many gods are ancestors or men who became deities for their heavenly achievements, most gods are also identified with stars and constellations. Ancestors are regarded as the equivalent of heaven within human society, and therefore as the means connecting back to heaven, which is the utmost ancestral father. Sen Zufu Zengsufu, gods are innumerable, as every phenomenon has or as one or more gods, and they are organized in a complex celestial hierarchy. Besides the traditional worship of these entities, Confucianism, Taoism and formal thinkers in general give theological interpretations affirming a monistic essence of divinity. Polytheism and monotheism are categories derived from Western religion and do not fit Chinese religion, which has never conceived the two things as opposites. Since all gods are considered manifestations of qi qi, the power or pneuma of heaven, some scholars have employed the term polynumatism or polynumatolatry. First coined by Walter Medhurst (1796–1857) to describe the practice of Chinese polytheism in the theology of the classic texts and Confucianism, heaven is the lord of the hundreds of deities. Modern Confucian theology compares them to intelligences, substantial forms, or entelechies inner purposes, as explained by Leibniz, generating all types of beings, so that. Even mountains and rivers are worshipped as something capable of enjoying sacrificial offerings. The deification of historical persons and ancestors is not traditionally the duty of Confucians or Taoists, but depends on the choices of common people. Persons are deified when they have made extraordinary deeds and have left an efficacious legacy. Yet, Confucians and Taoists traditionally may demand that state honor be granted to a particular deity. Each deity has a cult center and ancestral temple where he or she, or the parents, live their mortal life. There are frequently disputes over which is the original place and source temple of the cult of a deity. Terminology In Chinese language there is a terminological distinction between Shen Shen and Xian Xian. Although the usage of the former two is sometimes blurred, it corresponds to the distinction in Western cultures between God and Deity, Latin genius meaning a generative principle, spirit, and deus or divus, d, sometimes translated as thirch, implies a manifested or incarnate, godly, power. It is etymologically and figuratively analogous to the concept of d as the base of a fruit, which falls and produces other fruits. This analogy is attested in the Shuowen Jiezi explaining deity as what faces the base of a melon fruit. The latter term Xian Xian unambiguously means a man who has reached immortality, similarly to the Western idea of hero. Topic: <laughs> God of Heaven. Chinese traditional theology, which comes in different interpretations according to the classic texts, and specifically Confucian, Taoist and other philosophical formulations, is fundamentally monistic, that is to say it sees the world and the gods who produce it as an organic whole, or cosmos. The universal principle that gives origin to the world is conceived as transcendent and immanent to creation, at the same time. The Chinese idea of the universal God is expressed in different ways. There are many names of God from the different sources of Chinese tradition. The radical Chinese terms for the universal God are Tian Tian and Shangdi Shangdi, the highest deity, or simply Di Di, deity. There is also the concept of Tai Di Tai Di, the great deity. Di is a title expressing dominance over the all under heaven, that is all things generated by heaven and ordered by its cycles and by the stars. Tian is usually translated as heaven, but by graphical etymology it means great one, 
and a number of scholars relate it to the same D through phonetic etymology and trace their common root, through their archaic forms respectively asterisk T and asterisk Ts, to the symbols of the squared north celestial pole godhead Ding Ko. These names are combined in different ways in Chinese theological literature, often interchanged in the same paragraph if not in the same sentence. Topic. Names of the God of Heaven Tian is known by many names. Besides Shangdi and Taiti, other names include Yudi Jade Deity, and Taiyi Great Oneness", who, in mythical imagery, holds the ladle of the Big Dipper Great Chariot providing the movement of life to the world. As the hub of the skies, the North Celestial Pole constellations are known, among various names, as Tianmen Tianmen. Gate of Heaven, and Tianshu Tianshu, Pivot of Heaven. Other names of the God of Heaven are attested in the vast Chinese religio philosophical literary tradition. Tiandi Tiandi, the Deity of Heaven, or Emperor of Heaven. On rectification, Zheng Lun of the Shunji uses this term to refer to the active God of Heaven setting in motion creation. Tianju Tianzu, the Lord of Heaven, in the document of offering sacrifices to heaven and earth on the mountain Tai. Fengshan Shu of the records of the Grand Historian it is used as the title of the first god from whom all the other gods derive. Tianwang Tianhuang, the King of Heaven, in the Poem of Fathoming Profundity, Saishuan Fu, transcribed in The History of the Later Han Dynasty. Hu Han Shu, Zhang Heng ornately writes, I ask the superintendent of the heavenly gate to open the door and let me visit the king of heaven at the Jade Palace. Tian Gong Tian Gong. The Duke of Heaven. Or General of Heaven. Tian Jun Tian Jun. The Prince of Heaven. Or Lord of Heaven. Tian Jun Tian Zun. The Heavenly Venerable. Also a title for high gods in Taoist theologies. Tianshen Tianshen, the God of Heaven, interpreted in the Shuowen Jiezi as the being that gives birth to all things. Shenhuang Shenhuang, God the King, attested in Taihong, the origin of vital breath. Laoshenye, Lao Tianye, the Olden Heavenly Father. Tian is both transcendent and immanent, manifesting in the three forms of dominance, destiny and nature of things. In the Wujing Yi, Wu Jing Yi different meanings in the five classics. Xu Shen explains that the designation of heaven is quintuple. Huang Tian Huang Tian. Yellow heaven. Or shining heaven. When it is venerated as the lord of creation. Hao Tian Hao Tian. Vast heaven. With regard to the vastness of its vital breath, qi. Min Tian Min Tian, compassionate heaven, for it hears and corresponds with justice to the all under heaven. Shang Tian Shang Tian, highest heaven, or first heaven, for it is the primordial being supervising all under heaven. Kang Tian Kang Tian, deep green heaven. For it being unfathomably deep, all these designations reflect a hierarchical, multi-perspective experience of divinity. Topic: Lists of gods, deities, and immortals. Many classical books have lists and hierarchies of gods and immortals, among which the completed record of deities and immortals. Shen Xian Tong Jian Shen Xian Tongjin of the Ming Dynasty, and the biographies of the deities and immortals are Shen Xian Zhuan by Zhe Hong, 284 to 343. There's also the older collected biographies of the immortals or Liexian Zhuan. Couplets or polarities, such as Fuxi and Nuwa, Zhuangmu and Donghuagong, and the highest couple of heaven and earth, all embody yin and yang and are at once the originators and maintainers of the ordering process of space and time. Topic. Cosmic gods Yudi, Yud, Jade deity, or Yuhong, Yuhong, Jade emperor or 
Jade King is the popular human-like representation of the God of Heaven. Jade traditionally represents purity, so it is a metaphor for the unfathomable source of creation. Dumu, Dome, Mother of the Great Chariot, often entitled with the honorific Tianao, Tian, Queen of Heaven, is the heavenly goddess portrayed as the mother of the Big Dipper, Great Chariot, whose seven stars, in addition to two invisible ones, are conceived as her sons, the Zhuangshen, Zhu Huang, Nine God Kings themselves regarded as the ninfold manifestation of Zhuangdadi, Zhu Huangda, Great Deity of the Nine Kings, or Dufu, Do, Father of the Great Chariot, another name of the God of Heaven. She is therefore both wife and mother of the God of Heaven. Pangu, Pangu a macranthropic metaphor of the cosmos. He separated yin and yang, creating the earth murky yin and the sky clear yang. All things were made from his body after he died. Zhuangmu, Shi Wang, Queen Mother of the West, identified with the Kunlun Mountain, shamanic inspiration, death, and immortality. She is the dark, thonic goddess, pure yin, at the same time terrifying and benign, both creation and destruction, associated with the tiger and weaving. Her male counterpart is Donghua Gong, Dong Wang, King Duke of the East, also called Mugong. Mu, Duke of the Woods, who represents the Yang principle, Yi the Archer, Hui Hu Yi, was a man who sought for immortality, reaching Zhuangmu on her mountain Kunlun. Yan Wang, Yan Wang, Purgatory King, the ruler of the underworld, assisted by the Hai Bai Wu Chang, Hei Bai Wu, Black and White Impermanence, representing the alternation of Yin and Yang principles, alongside Ox Head and Horse Face, who escort spirits to his realm. Yin Yang Gong. Yin Yang, Yin Yang Duke, or Yin Yang Si, Yin Yang, Yin Yang Controller, the personification of the union of Yin and Yang. Topic: Three patrons and five deities. San Huang, San Wang, three patrons or Augusts or San Kai, San Sai, three potencies. They are the vertical. Manifestation of heaven spatially corresponding to the three realms San Jia San Ji, representing the yin and yang and the medium between them, that is the human being. Fuxi Fuxi the patron of heaven Tian Huang Tian Wang, also called Baguazushi, Baguazu, venerable inventor of the Bagua, by the Taoists, is a divine man reputed to have taught to humanity writing, fishing, and hunting. Nuwa Nuwa the patron of earth De Huang De Wang, is a goddess attributed for the creation of mankind and mending the order of the world when it was broken. Shen Nong Shen Nong — peasant god, the patron of humanity Ren Huang Ren Wang, identified as Yandi, Yan — flame deity, or fiery deity, a divine man said to have taught the techniques of farming, herbal medicine and marketing. He is often represented as a human with horns and other features of an ox. Wu Di Wu Di, five deities, also Wu Fang Shang Di, Wu Fang Shang Di, five manifestations of the highest deity. Wu Fang Tian Shen, Wu Fang Tian, five manifestations of the heavenly god. Wu Fang Di, Wu Fang Di, five forms deity. Wu Tian Di, Wu Tian Di, five heavenly deities. Wu Lao Jun, Wu Lao Jun, five ancient lords. Wu Dao Shen, Wu Dao Shen, five ways gods. They are the five main, horizontal, manifestations of heaven and according with the three potencies they have a celestial, a terrestrial and a thonic form. They correspond to the five phases of creation, the five constellations rotating around the celestial pole and five planets, the five sacred mountains and five directions of space their terrestrial form, and the five dragon gods which represent their mounts, that is to say the material forces they preside over their thonic form, Huang Di Wang Di, Yellow Emperor or Yellow Deity, or Huang Shen Wang Shen, Yellow God, also known as Xuanyuan Wang Di, Zan Yuan Huang, Di, Yellow Deity of the Chariot Shaft, is the Zhang Yue Da Di, Zhang Yu Da Di, Great Deity of the Central Peak. He represents the essence of Earth and the Yellow Dragon, and is associated with Saturn. The character Huang Huang, for Yellow, also means, by homophony and shared etymology with Huang Huang, August. Creator and radiant, identifying the Yellow Emperor with Shangdi, the highest deity. 
Wangdi represents the heart of creation, the axis mundi Kunlun, that is the manifestation of the divine order in physical reality, opening the way to immortality. As the deity of the center, intersecting the three patrons and the five deities, in the Shizi he is described as yellow emperor with four faces. Huang di Simian Wang di Simian. As a human, he is said to have been the fruit of a virginal birth, as his mother Fubao conceived him as she was aroused, while walking in the country, by a lightning from the Big Dipper Great Chariot. She delivered her son after 24 months on the Mount of Shou Longevity or Mount Xuanyuan Chariot Shaft, after which he was named. He is reputed to be the founder of the Waxia civilization, and the Han Chinese identify themselves as the descendants of Yandi and Wangdi. Kang Di Kandi Green deity, or Qing Di Qingdi, Blue deity or blue green deity, the Dong Di, Dong Di East deity, or Dong Yuedadi, Dong Yu Da, Great deity of the Eastern Peak. He is Tai Hao Tai Hao, associated with the essence of wood and with Jupiter, and is the god of fertility and spring. The blue green dragon is both his animal form and constellation. His female consort is the goddess of fertility Bixia. Hei Di Heidi Black deity, the Bidi, Baid North deity, or Beiyuadadi, Beiyuadadi, Great deity of the Northern Peak. He is Zhuangshu, Zhuangshu today frequently worshipped as Xuanwu, Zan, Dark Warrior, or Zhenwu, Zhenwu, and is associated with the essence of water and winter, and with Mercury. His animal form is the black dragon, and his stellar animal is the tortoise snake. Kai Di Chidi, Red deity, the Nandi, South deity, or Nanyudadi, Nan Yu Da, Great Deity of the Southern Peak. He is Shenong, the Divine Farmer, the Yandi, Fiery Deity, associated with the essence of fire and summer, and with Mars. His animal form is the Red Dragon and his stellar animal is the Phoenix. He is the god of agriculture, animal husbandry, medicinal plants, and market. Bai Di Bai Di, White Deity, the Shidi, Shi West Deity, or Shiwadadi, Shi Yu Dad, Great Deity of the Western Peak. He is Xiao Hao, Xiao Hao, and is the god of the essence of metal and autumn, associated with Venus. His animal form is the white dragon and his stellar animal the tiger. San Guan Sanguan or San Guan Da Di Sanguan Da Di. Three officials of heaven or three officer great deities, Yao Yao the official of heaven Tianguan Tian Guan, Shun Shun the official of earth De Guan De Guan, and Yu Yu the official of water Shui Guan Shui Guan. In mythology, Wang Di and Yan Di fought a battle against each other, and Huang finally defeated Yan with the help of the dragon the controller of water, who is Wang Di himself. This myth symbolizes the equipoise of yin and yang, here the fire of knowledge reason and craft and earthly stability. Yan Yan is flame, scorching fire, or an excess of it. It is important to note that graphically it is a double huo huo, fire. As an excess of fire brings destruction to the earth, it has to be controlled by a ruling principle. Nothing is good in itself, without limits, good outcomes depend on the proportion in the composition of things and their interactions, never on extremes in absolute terms. Wangdi and Yandi are complementary opposites, necessary for the existence of one another, and they are powers that exist together within the human being. Topic: <laughs> Gods of celestial and terrestrial phenomena. Longshen Longshen, dragon gods, or Longwang Longwang, dragon kings, also Sahai Longwang. Sea High Long One Dragon Kings of the Four Seas are gods of water resources, usually reduced to four, patrons of the four seas Sahai Sea High and the four cardinal directions. They are the White Dragon Bai Long Bai Long, the Black Dragon Zan Long Xuan Long, the Red Dragon Zhu Long Zhu Long, and the Blue Green Dragon Qing Long Qing Long. Corresponding with the five deities as the thonic forces that they sublimate, the dragon gods are often represented as the mount. Of the five deities, they inscribe the land of China into an ideal sacred squared boundary. The fifth dragon, the yellow dragon Huang Long Wang Long, is the dragon of the center representing the yellow god. Bao Shen Bao Shen. Hail God. Bala Bala, Chong Shen Chong Shen. Insect God, or Chong Wang Chong Wang. Insect King, the gods of insects. Dou Shen Dou Shen. 
smallpox god. Feng Shen Function. Wind god, or Fei Lian Fei Lian. Hai Shen Haitian. Sea god, or Hai Ye Hai Ye. Sea lord. Hai Shen Eshen. River god, any watercourse god among which one of the most revered is the god of the Yellow River, Hei Bo Ebo. River lord. Gu Shen Gushen. Valley god, in the Tao Te Ching a name used to refer to the way. Huo Shen Hushan. Fire god, often personified as Jurong. Zhu Rong Hu Shen Hushan. Lake god. Jin Shen Jinshan. Gold god, often identified as the Chu Shen Choshan. Autumn god, and personified as Rusho. Ru Shou Jing Shen Jingshan. Water spring god. Lei Shen Leishan. Thunder god, or Lei Gong Lei Gong. Thunder Duke, his consort is Dian Mu Dian Mu. Lightning Mother. Mu Shen Mushan. Woodland god, usually the same as the Chun Shen Chunshan. Spring god, and as Zhu Ming. Zhu Meng Shan Shen Shanshan. Mountain god. Shui Shen Shushan. Water god. Tu De Shen Tadishan. God of the local land, or Tu Shen Tushan. Earth god, or Tu De Gong Tu De Gong. Duke of the local land, the tutelary deity of any locality whose female counterpart is Hutu Hutu. Queen of the Earth. Wen Shen Wenshan. Plague God. Shang Shui Shen Shang Shui Shen. Shang waters goddesses, are the patrons of the Shang River. Shui Shen Shui Shen. Snow God. Yu Shen Yu Shen. Rain God. Shi He Zaye, the Tai Yang Shen Tai Yang Shen. Great Sun Goddess, or Shi Ri Ji Mu Shirihimu. Mother of the Ten Sons. Yu Shen Yu Shen. Moon Goddesses, Chang Shi Chang Shi or Shi R U G Mu Shi Ri Mu. Mother of the Twelve Moons, and Chang A Chang A. Topic. Gods of Human Virtues and Crafts Civil Wen, and Military Wu, Deities Wen Di Wen Di. Culture Deity, or Wen Chang Di Wen Chang Di. Deity who makes culture thrive, or Wen Chang Wang Wen Chang Wang. King who makes culture thrive. In southern provinces, this deity takes the identity of different historical persons, while in the north, he is more frequently the same as Confucius. Kung Fuzi Kung Fuzi. Kui Xing Kui Xing. Chief Star, another god of culture and literature, but specifically examination, is a personification of the man who awakens to the order of the great chariot. Wu Di Wu Di. Military deity, Guan Di Guan Di. Divas Guan, also called Guan Gong Guan Gong. Duke Guan, and popularly Guan Yu Guan Yu. Another class is the Zan Shen Zhan Shen. Fight God, who may be personified by Qi Yu, Kai Yu, or Xing Tian, Xing Tian, who was decapitated for fighting against Tian. Bao Sheng Da Di Bao Sheng Da Di. Great deity who protects life. Ba Xian Baxian. Eight immortals. Kan Shen Kan Shen. Silkworm God, who may be. Kan Mu Kan Mu. Silkworm Mother, also called Kan Gu Kan Gu. Silkworm Maiden, who is identified as Lei Zhu, Lei Zhu the wife of the Yellow Emperor. The invention of sericulture is attributed primarily to her. Qing Yi Shen Qing Yi Shen. Blue green clad god, his name as a human was Kan Kong Kan King. Silkworm Twig, and he is the first ruler and ancestor of the Shu state, and promoter of sericulture among his people. Kai Shen Kai Shen. Wealth God Kang Xie Kang Jie, the four-eyed inventor of the Chinese characters Sheung Huang Shen Shen Wang Shen Moat and Walls God, Boundary God, the god of the sacred boundaries of a human agglomeration, he is often personified by founding fathers or noble personalities from each city or town Shen Jing Gu Shen Jing Gu Old Quiet Lady, also called Lin Shui Fu Ren Lin Shui Furen Waterside Dame Che Shen Cheshen. Vehicle God. Erlang Shen Erlang Shen. Twice Young God, the God of Engineering. Guang Zhe Zun Wang Guang Zhe Zun Wang. Honorific King of Great Compassion. Guan Yin Guan Yin. She who hears the cries of the world, the Goddess of Mercy. Huang Da Xian Huang Daxian. Great Immortal Huang. Ji Gong Ji Gong. Help Lord. Zhu Shen Zhu Shen. 
wine god, personified as Yidi Yidi. Ju Tian Zan Nu Jushan Shuanu. Mysterious Lady of the Nine Heavens, a disciple of Zhuang Mu and initiator of Wangdi. Long Mu Long Mu. Dragon Mother. Lu Ban Luban, the god of carpentry. Lu Shen Lushan. Road God. Ma Zhu Mazu. Ancestral Mother, often entitled the Queen of Heaven. Ping An Shen Ping An Chen. Peace God, an embodiment of whom is considered to have been Mao Zedong. Qing Shui Zhu Shi Qing Shui Zhu Shi. Venerable Patriarch of the Clear Stream. Dao Shen Tao Shen. Pottery God. Tu Er Shen Tu Zerzhen. Leveret God, the God of Love among Males. Tuo Ta Li Tian Wang Tuo Ta Li Tian Wang. Tower wielding heavenly king, in person Li Jing, who has three sons, the warlike protector deities Jinza, Jin Za Muzza, Mu Za and Naza. Na Za Wu Xian Wu Shen. Five shining ones, possibly a popular form of the cosmological five deities. Xi Shen Qi Shen. Joy God. Yao Shen Yao Shen. Medicine God, or frequently Yao Wang Yaoing. Medicine Kin. G. Yu Sha Lao Ren Yu Xia Lao Ren. Old Man Under the Moon, the matchmaker who pairs lovers together. Yu Shen Yu Shen. Jail Purgatory God. Zhao Shen Zhao Shen. Hearth God, the master of the household deities including, the bed god Zhuang Shen Zhuang Shen, the gate gods Men Shen Men Shen, and the toilet god Si Shen Se Shen. San Xing San Xing. Three stars, a cluster of three astral gods of well-being. Fu Xing Fuxing, Prosperity Star, God of Happiness. Lu Xing Luxing, Firmness Star, God of Firmness and Success in Life and Examinations. Shou Xing Shuxing, Longevity Star, who stands for a healthy and long life. Topic: Gods of Animal and Vegetal Life. Hua Shen Wazen, Flower Goddess. Hu Shen Hushan, Fox God, Des, or Hu Xian Huxian, Fox Immortal, also called Hu Xian Niang Niang Huxian Nianganang, Fox Immortal Lady. Two other great fox deities, peculiar to northeast China, are the Great Lord of the Three Foxes, Hu San Tai Ye Hu San Tai Ye, and the Great Lady of the Three Foxes, Hu San Tai Nai Hu San Tai Nai, representing the yin and yang. Ma Shen Ma Shen. Horse God, or Mawang Ma Wang. Horse King. Niu Shen Nia Shen. Cattle God or Ox God, also called Niu Wang Nia Wang. Cattle King. Lang Shen Lang Shen. Wolf God. Shu Shen Shushan. Tree Gods. Wu Gu Shen Wugashen. Five Cereals God, another name of Shenong. Yuan Shen Yuan Shen. Monkey God, or Yuan Wang Yuan Wang. Monkey King, who is identified as Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong Ji Ma Shen Jima Shen. Sesame God. Topic. Bixia Mother Goddess Worship The worship of mother goddesses for the cultivation of offspring is present all over China, but predominantly in northern provinces. There are nine main goddesses, and all of them tend to be considered as manifestations or attendant forces of a singular goddess identified variously as the Lady of the Blue Dawn Bixia Yuanjun Bai Sha Yuan Jun, also known as the Tianxian Nianganang Tian Xian Niang Niang, Heavenly Immortal Lady, or Taishan Nianganang Tai Shan Niang Niang, Lady of Mount Tai, or also Jushan Shengmu Ju Tian Sheng Mu, Holy Mother of the Nine Skies. Or Hutu, the goddess of the earth. Bixia herself is identified by Taoists as the more ancient goddess Zhuangmu. The general Chinese term for goddess is Nu Shen Nushan, and goddesses may receive many qualifying titles including Mu, Mother, Lao Mu, Lao, Old Mother, Shengmu, Sheng, Holy Mother, Nianganang, Niang, Lady, Nainai, Nai, Granny. The additional eight main goddesses of fertility, reproduction and growth are Ban Zhen Niang Niang Ban Zhen Nianganang, the goddess who protects children from illness Kui Sheng Niang Niang Kusheng Nianganang, the goddess who gives swift childbirth and protects midwives 
Naimu Nyang Nyang Naimu Nyanganang, the goddess who presides over maternal milk and protects nursing. Pai Gu Nyang Nyang Pegu Nyanganang, the goddess who cultivate children. Pai Yang Nyang Nyang Pei Yang Nyanganang, the goddess who protects the upbringing of children. Song Zi Nyang Nyang Song Zi Nyanganang or Zi Sun Nyang Nyang Zi Sun Nyanganang, the goddess who presides over offspring. Yan Guang Nyang Nyang Yangguang Nyanganang, the goddess who protects eyesight. Yin Men Nyang Nyang Yin Men Nyanganang, the goddess who guides young children. Altars of goddess worship are usually arranged with Bixia at the center and two goddesses at her sides, most frequently the Lady of Eyesight and the Lady of Offspring. A different figure but with the same astral connections as Bixia is the goddess of the seven stars. There is also the cluster of the holy mothers of the three skies, San Shao Sheng Mu San Shao Sheng Mu, or San Shao Niang Niang San Shao Nyanganang, ladies of the three stars, composed of Yun Shao Gunang, Chong Shao Gunang, and Bi Shao Gunang. The cult of Chenjingu present in southeast China is identified by some scholars as an emanation of the northern cult of Bixia. Other goddesses worshipped in China include Kanmu, Kanmu Silkworm Mother, or Kangu, Kangu Silkworm Maiden, identified with Leizu, Leizu the wife of the Yellow Emperor, Magu, Mag Hemp Maiden. Saoqing Nyanganang, Sao Qing Nyang Nyang goddess who sweeps clean, Sanjo Nyanganang, Sanjo Nyang Nyang goddess of the Three Isles, and Wusheng Laomu. Mother goddess is central in the theology of many folk religious sects. Topic: <inaudible> Gods of Northeast China. Northeast China has clusters of deities which are peculiar to the area, deriving from the Manchu and broader Tungusic substratum of the local population. Animal deities related to shamanic practices are characteristic of the area and reflect wider Chinese cosmology. Besides the aforementioned fox gods, Hu Xian Huxian, they include Huang Xian Wang Xian, Yellow Immortal, the Weasel God, Shei Xian Shei Shen, Snake Immortal, also variously called Lu Xian Lu Shen, Immortal Lu, or Chong Xian Chong Xian, Viper Immortal, or also Mang Xian Mang Xian. Python or Boa Immortal Bai Xian Bai Xian — White Immortal, the Hedgehog God Hei Xian Hei Shen — Black Immortal, who may be the Wu Ya Xian Wu Yaxian — Crow Immortal, or the Wei Xian Wei Shen — Rat Immortal, with the latter considered a misinterpretation of the former. <laughs> Gods of Indian origin Gods who have been adopted into Chinese religion but who have their origins in the Indian subcontinent or Hinduism. Guan Yin Guan Yin. She who hears the cries of the world. A Chinese goddess of mercy modeled after the Bodhisattva of Alokitshvara. Simeon Shen Simeon Shen. Four-faced god. But also a metaphor for ubiquitous god. The recent cult has its origin in the Thai transmission of the Hindu god Brahma, but it is important to note that it is also an epithet of the indigenous Chinese god Wangdi who, as the deity of the center of the cosmos, is described in the Shizi as Yellow Emperor with Four Faces. Huang Di Simian Wang Di Simian. Xiang Tu Shen Xiang Tu Shen. Elephant Head God is the Indian god Ganesha. Topic. Gods of Northern People Zhe Sa or Zhe Zar or Zhe Si or Zhe Zier plus Wang Wang or plus Shen Shen, King Guesser, or God Guesser, an interethnic culture hero of a namesake epic poem, worshipped by Tibetans, Mongols, Han Chinese, and other ethnic groups. He derives from Divus Caesar of ancient Rome through a cultural transmission from the peoples of Central Asia. Genghis Khan, Sheung G C Han Shengizahan, worshipped by Mongols and Chinese under a variety of divinity titles, including Sheng Wu Huang Di, Sheng Wu Wang Di, Holy Military Sovereign Deity, Fa Tian Qi Yun, Fei Shen Qian, Starter of the Transmission of the Law of Heaven, and Tai Zhu Tezu, Great Ancestor of the Yuan and the Mongols. Topic. See also 
Chinese folk religion, Chinese temple, Shen, Xi'an, Zhenren. Topic notes. Notes about the deities and their names. <laughs>